Insights with Terry Coots, a weekly look through the eyes of predictive astrologer Terry Coots. Here's Terry. Hi, everyone. This is Terry, and you're listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Thank you for joining me today. And we are going to explore the week of the 22nd of July through the 28th, 2024. <laughs> Full disclosure, uh, this is the third <laughs> try that I've <clears throat> tried to create a podcast. It has been interfered with each time. So on that note, I am going to do the best I can to keep it short and maybe I can actually do it this time. Um, just outside circumstances where, uh, you know, the dog's barking, the bird's making noises, then the guinea hen uh, got up right, why, got, I don't know if you know how loud, wow, guinea hens can be, it's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, the guinea hen got up and uh, started squawking right here by the window, I, that could have been a predator, it could have been asking for help, I had to stop. Uh, go and see what's going on and uh, see if I can help my my guinea hen in any way shape or form <sighs> but it's just been one of those mornings so this this is my last attempt if uh, if I can't get this one done then um, then I, I think this week isn't supposed to happen that or I I don't know I got lost in my own way of doing it and maybe the universe wants me to do it another way that is uh, that's one of the things that to uh, I notice as a sign and on that note lots of signs have been happening for everybody a lot of the people I've been doing readings for and with have uh, uh, signs like really amazing signs when doing the reading a uh, one woman who usually a cardinal will show up for her when I'm doing a reading for her and I haven't seen a cardinal in quite a while I, I have a lot of blue jays right now but uh, the cardinals I don't know where they are and uh, son of a gun, if one didn't start singing before I saw it, and we have it captured on her recording, thankfully, and um, and then I then I did see it. And as she was listening to the recording of the cardinal, um, a deer showed up in her backyard, and she said her backyard is pretty well fenced, and that's not a two actually not a normal occurrence. So lots of uh, signs from the universe to try to help us to uh, see things, maybe stop for a moment and take um, take a moment to try to figure out what does all of this mean, why, you know, maybe just that, just that moment of pausing and taking a breath is what we need. Now, uh, changes in the in the, the position of the planets uh, right now can uh, create some interesting circumstances for all of us. Uh, cancer which we've been under for about three weeks, will be changing to Leo on the 23rd of this week. So change is imminent. We're feeling it. Very different energy. The fire sign is different, Leo, than the water sign of Cancer. So we may find ourselves feeling a little bit more ready to boil over, to be feeling a little bit more agitated or restless. Uh, I did have my sister confess to me the other day. She said, I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm feeling so reactive and so short. My patience. I said, that's with this change, especially coming into Leo from cancer. It's a big change. I said, you're not a bad person. You're just feeling the change. And if you know what it is, um, then maybe you can look at why am I feeling this way and what, what am I supposed to do about it? Because each one of us are so individual. And then Mercury, the plan of the mind, how we think, how we communicate, that is in Leo already, ready, poised to make a change on the 26th to our Virgo. Now, I love when it's in Virgo because I'm a Virgo. I'm, I'm more of a mongrel than a Virgo, but um, I do have Virgo energy. Um, it just, I don't know, it just helps sort things out. It puts a lot of pressure on you to get it done, get the grass done right, get this done right, get this done right. Oh, I got to get this, I got to get this, I got to get this. So we can make it turn into a high anxiety energy if we choose to. Or we can look at it as uh, mummy and daddy, sun and moon, uh, telling us that we need to get this and this and this done for our own good and for the good of other people around us. Uh, so it kind of opens up my eyes, I find, when it's in this position. 
uh, running this farm. As I've said before, it's 43 acres. And I have a few businesses that I run, and I do this by myself. 15 dogs, 3 birds. I cannot tell you how many ducks. I have no idea. They just come and go. Uh, turkeys and chickens. <laughs> Shall I go on? <laughs> um, so there's a lot to do. And sometimes we get so caught up in the doing that we forget to look around and to see what needs to be taken care of. Um, an example would be, I ordered a pound of coffee from Amazon the other day. It arrived yesterday, and I didn't know that it arrived. Then I saw an email that it was delivered. Now, <laughs> I got to look and try to find this package anywhere. It could be anywhere on this farm because I have to try to figure out what was the delivery guy thinking not putting it in the mailbox, which would be so much easier. Where would he have gone? Did he go into the barn, which is a 60 by 30 foot barn, which full of stuff? Um, did he drop it near the house? Did the dogs grab a hold of it? Is it on a chair? So I had to look in the now, not look at what I think it's going to look like, uh, what is out of place or what looks different. And I did. I found it. It was in a chair on the front lawn. Um, I just happened to see it. I was just lucky. So then I tucked it under my arm and I did a few things. And I came in the house. I thought, oh shoot, where did I put the coffee? Now I've forgotten. I know the last thing I remember, I had the whole bag tucked under my arm. Oh, so then I had to go back and think, what was I doing? When I went to get the, and then what did I do after? So I'm looking, I looked, and I looked, and I looked, looked all over the house. Maybe I brought it in, and I don't remember. Maybe I put it away, and I don't remember. I couldn't find it. I've been 24 hours looking for this bag of coffee so I could have my coffee in the morning. And then I had to stop for a minute and just, just stop, Terry, stop. And try to mentally retrace my steps to a degree. What was I doing when I had it tucked under my arm, what what chores did I think was important? <laughs> so, I found it in the chicken coop. Lovely. <laughs> but at least they didn't peck it open. But there it was. There was the bag in the chicken coop. I must have put the chickens to bed uh, at night, put it down, and, uh, and then made sure that the nests were all ready for them in the morning and they were all settled in bed. Um, and then left my coffee in the chicken coop overnight. Now, it would have been a while. The position that I put it in, it would have been a while for me to find it if I would have just waited to come across it. Because it wasn't in a place that I normally visit in that corner of the chicken coop. Anyway, is that distracted? Is that the universe trying to make us stop for a minute and think and be aware of what we're doing? A lot of us, I myself included, think that memory loss is coming uh, to, to find us and and it is but oftentimes it's dehydration it's too many things on our mind we're not in the moment we're not paying attention to this moment we're distracted maybe we look at something else and then go do something else and forget what we went into the pantry for and it causes a lot more work because we have to go back up the stairs to try to find it uh, go up. oh yeah I was going to shut the gate when I came in but no I got to walk all the way out there down the driveway and shut the gate so it causes a lot more effort and it creates a much uh, stronger energy drain because now we're miffed at ourselves for forgetting so that's what this Virgo energy is is here it's trying to help us look at what your chores are look at what your responsibilities are look at what you've offered to do for other people. Is it too much? Can you delegate? If it's not too much, can you get it all done without completely stressing yourself out? And then Venus, the planet of uh, attraction and love and beauty, that is in Leo. So that's going to want to be proud of itself and happy. So this is an energy field where if you should l really look at what nice things, what praise can you give to other people, and, and, but it's got to be sincere. Can't be, can't be, um, can't be manufactured and can't be a lie. It's got to be true. So, on that vein, um, it makes us be more cognizant of what did that person just do. So I'm coming across things that um, people have been kind enough to maybe drop off, or uh, one beautiful gentleman um, 
dropped off a box of chocolates, Walker. It, it, no, it's not a romantic thing. Um, Walker chocolates from Howard Avenue. Uh, they're phenomenal. So I had one. Uh, I will have one a week. And just enjoy to stop for a minute and let that thing do its work and its magic on my tongue. Uh, just amazing, amazing chocolates. So when I saw that box, then I thought of him and just popped off a note and hoped he's having fun on his motorcycle. Hope he's found a girl that he's looking for and, and that everything turns out sunny and beautiful for him. And did tell him a couple of things that he did really nice for me. Really enjoyed uh, the chocolates that you brought here, so how thoughtful that was. So, because you're a thoughtful person, and so people need right now to be praised, and we need to praise them sincerely. Our children, our dogs, I'm finding my dogs are just soaking it up. Uh, normally cookies and balls when they did something right while I'm training them. I'm training my, my little parrotlets and my one budgie right now for clicker. So they're being clicker trained. I am amazed at how fast birds can catch on to clicker training and targeting. So now we're going to go through a whole thing of taming these birds and, and making them very, very happy pets. So that someday I can find somebody that uh, is looking for a little pet that's very friendly, outgoing, very confident. But I have to help it get to that place. And while I'm helping it get to that place, it's teaching me how to get to that place of understanding a unit, a, a, an animal that's very different than other things. I've trained chickens before, I've trained ducks, um, but I haven't done parrotlets. And actually, this is my first budgie. I've had cockatoos, I've had cockatiels, I've had sun conures. So I'm on another adventure of learning. These guys are like little, little the, the Jack Russells of the uh, bird world. They're, ti they're the tiniest parrot in the parrot family. They're about six inches big, and uh, but they have the attitude of a lion. So <laughs> I'm afraid of nothing. They'll take on the whole pack of dogs. So again, speaking of memory, it challenges my memory to make sure that I remember that I've put my birds out in the sunshine and shade to get some good vitamin D and uh, get all the vitamins that they need from the sun and also be okay in the shade so I have to remember to look and make sure where the sun is moving. I have to make sure that the dogs don't get too friendly and where have I put the dogs in relation to where the bird is uh, at this moment. So there's a lot to remember and a lot to be aware of and I'm finding that being in the moment is just so necessary for everybody's survival, my own included. And then the Mars uh, planet is that red planet, that fiery planet. That is in Gemini. And Gemini is all about thinking and figuring things out and creative information, um, it, wanting more information. So uh, when Gemini was in Mars, and it still is, uh, Trump had that RNC speech. I won't go into it at all. It was 93 minutes of my ears fell off and they started to bleed listening to him. I had to shut it off. I just, I just couldn't tolerate any more uh, brain leak uh, at all. It just uh, unbelievable. But anyway, that wasn't interesting. <laughs> so then I had to go and look at something that was interesting. But I was interested to see what he had to say after the uh, failed um, assassination. And uh, did it really change him? And did he see God the way he says he does? And I don't know why that bothers me so much. Um, it, it always has when people use the source, God, whatever word you want to put on that energy that's outside of ourselves, that is the creator uh, and the creative energy. When they use that for, for covering things up, redirecting attention, you know, uh, some of the ministers that have taken money from people that are innocent and trusting. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how much that bothers me. I just, I don't know what to do with myself. It just, my nerves run up and down the outside of my clothes. I don't know what to do with myself. So that's what that Gemini energy is actually. That's the feeling in Mars. So maybe we won't be able to listen to the news too, too much. Or maybe we may uh, have to... Um, try to organize what we do 
bring into our lives as far as information. If you're wanting to take a course, this is a perfect time for that. If uh, And I've, I've been doing that. I've signed up for just about every course there is to sign up for. And I know better. I know I can't do it all, but that Gemini wants you to learn it all at one time. And then we have a really interesting full moon. The full moon is uh, on the 21st of this week. Uh, so it's like a day ahead of when we've posted this but it you know it happens a couple of days before you can feel the energy change and you can feel it a couple of uh, days after so you really you've got about five six day window and depending on how sensitive you are and full moons on their own uh, bring in energy so that's why it's lunacy a lunatic uh, because during that time we're kind of weird it's it's just a lot of energy but in this case it started off, the full moon started off in Capricorn and ended up in Aquarius. That's really, that's unique. And so we start, because they're very different energy fields. Capricorn wants us to do it right. It accepts responsibility. Does not mean, does not mind at all being tied down as long as things get accomplished and goals get achieved. Uh, very willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done and right now, Capricorn energy uh, also in that place can really bother your joints, really sore joints. So if you have sore knees, sore ankles, sore hips, sore wrists, sore fingers, sore joints, uh, you've probably suffered off and on, depending on, on how the moon spins in relation to the earth, you've probably really felt this uh, quite significantly in the last couple of weeks. We're moving to Aquarius, which is a very different energy field in the in this full moon. Aquarian energy is don't tie me down, don't fence me in, uh, don't tell me what to do, uh, don't go too far. Oh, come back here! Oh, I'm going. <laughs> so it's very independent energy. It just reminds me of the little parrotlets that I'm training. They're extremely independent little creatures, and you cannot force them to do anything. So we have to really look when I'm training a parrotlet. Not so much a budgie, but a parrotlet. Uh, I have to try to figure out what will make this parrotlet do what I want it to do. So I have withheld seed. They get all the pellets and the sprouts and the vegetables <clears throat> and the fruits. They're getting all of that stuff, but their very favorite thing is the, you know, like McDonald's, the seed, the millet, and bird seed. But they only get 30% of their diet in bird seed. So I withhold that. And the only way they can get it is to realize it's coming from me and to take it from my hand. This is a work in progress. I've got two of the birds. One, uh, the budgie is now standing on my hand while she eats. He, I'm not sure yet. She's not a year old, so we won't know till she's a year. Then we'll have the unveiling of her gender. She will sit right in the palm of my hand now, little yellow beauty that she is and eat the seeds from the palm of my hand. And that took uh, two weeks of every day, three or four or five times a day, sometimes just standing by the cage reading. Then the little parrotlet elf uh, is starting to take uh, safflower seeds, which is her favorite. Sunflower seeds, she wants me to peel them back for her. <laughs> I won't do it for myself, but I'll do it for the bird. Um, it, but safflower seeds are her favorite, so she takes that from my hand from a distance. If her neck stretches any further than it stretches to get that safflower seed, um, it's going to fall right off. And now my next goal with her is to get her to move forward. So I'll put it out of her reach just by a little bit so her neck can't stretch that far. She'll have to take one step forward. So what I'm trying to teach her is that coming forward towards me gets her good things, not bad things. Coming forward towards me is not scary. There doesn't need to be fear. There is no harm here. Only good food. And the other little parrot, Fidget, and she is a fidget. She flits all over the place. Uh, she's so far from uh, me hand feeding her, but she will tolerate now me standing near her cage, a bubble she has. And when I see the bubble, start to have pressure when she starts to get a longer neck and tightens up her feathers. I know it's too far. She's about to fly again. So I stand and I walk backwards taking the pressure away from her. So she recognizes that I respect her. I'm reading her body language and I respect her. 
So at this point now, with all of that back and forth dancing, she will let me have the cage right next to my body without trying to kill herself inside the cage. So all of this sounds ridiculous, I, <laughs> I know, but it's really where we are, all of us, looking at each other, trying to understand not just what's said or what's not said, but what's really happening here. What is, what, what is everybody feeling? I love to do that even in the stores. What does the energy feel like? Is this a nice energy? Or is this a frantic energy? Uh, what is going on here? Um, are most people nice right now or are they irritated? Are they in a hurry? Uh, so I really, really do like to try to examine all of that and see where do I fit in this and can I help with anything energetically? Can I send energy out in the store that would balance it? Um, I don't want to, in, I do not want to increase bad energy. That's the last thing I want to do. Uh, so when you look at it, we got a lot of opportunities here to change our environment with our attitude, our thoughts, our impression of it, our ability to see through it and see it for what it is, and then work with it in a positive way. The beginning of the week, we will be very challenged in the lower extremities so, and then towards the middle of the week it gets really low like right to the feet so the beginning of the week it might be calf ankles the achilles uh, hamstring if that's a bother for you uh, all of that and then towards the middle of the week it goes right down to the feet the toes very psychic energy field this week so on that vein um, you know, just listen to your intuition, look for the signs that the universe is offering us and be so grateful that they're trying to speak to us in our language and theirs. So we get to interpret and, and have a nice bonding uh, experience with the universe as well as with our animals and our friends. Then towards the very end of the week, it moves right back up to the head, the teeth, the tongue. Our arteries will be affected. So if you have vulnerability in that energy field, just be really, really careful of that um, and, and take care of those body parts. Just, you know, be extra special nice <laughs> to those body parts because they can really muck about if, uh, if we make them upset with us. Now, the cards quickly, most of them are major cards, which means probably for some of you, this is a general reading, this is going to be a very important week for some of you. Work looks like it's in a really good energy field, uh, giving us an opportunity to look at our peers, to maybe repair and create good relationships with our peers at work, creating a much more... Oh, cohesive uh, environment, work environment. Look to see the people that drive our eyes together and see how can I help them? What is it that they need that I could maybe help them um, change some of the habits <laughs> that drive us crazy? I'm so lucky. My peers at work are all animals because I work with animals most of the time. There will be challenges on some people's health. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on, on people's health in this week. So if you know that, choose the correct foods, get that sleep, get your immune system up and rocking. If you have to take some essential oils to make sure that uh, you're doing a good job with your health, go ahead and do it. Uh, get get that sleep. That is so important. I know even with the, even with the birds, they need 10 to 12 hours sleep. So my chickens go to bed. They've been starting to go to bed about six o'clock at night. And, um, and my, my parrotlets and budgies, I can see them tying things up, having their last snack before bed, finding the perch that they want to roost on. I do cover them up uh, for, the, for the night, but they should get 10 to 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep. Which one of you out there get 10 to 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep? Not too many of us. So we're, most of us are working on a sleep deficit, which does change our behavior. I know how I feel as an older person, a senior, uh, sleep is elusive for me. And I know what I feel like the day after when I've only got a couple hours sleep because I'm paced or whatever. So uh, just pay attention to your body and get that immune system really working. The card of the sun, that came up lovely. <laughs> Um, so, you know, that sun searches out all the cracks and shows light in every way, shape, and form. So it dissipates the shadows and offers us warmth and harmony and peace and 
enlightenment. So that energy is there and it's a very positive position. So just take it and run with that, kids. How can you brighten up somebody else's life or how can you brighten up your own life? And in brightening up your own life, you'll brighten up somebody else's life. So number one was paired with all of the planets with us. So number one paired with all these planets. Number one, the leader, Star Trek, right? The leader. It is a very courageous kind of vibration pairing with this lion. Number one, courage, pride, praise. Make sure everybody feels good about stuff. Inspiration, active. Oh, it's a good energy field. We all need to give priority to our own individual success. We have to really look at that so that we can accomplish that. And we're also given the ability to use our initiative and determination to succeed. So that's a wonderful support system that they're offering us for some of the projects that some of us have for this summer. They're going to let us devote more time to other people if we choose to do that. So they'll kind of clear your calendar for you or make it possible that you can do this. And praise, praise, praise. Everybody's going to need praise. We're going to have to praise ourselves. We have to praise other people. Don't be domineering. This is an energy field that can contribute to stubbornness and being domineering and bullying. We'll need to have good management in our skills. And that's going to be really important. How do we manage ourselves in a good way? And Virgo in um, Mercury will offer you the support and the information to be able to do it. So just watch superiority. Watch stubbornness. Watch the, um, the need to maybe dominate other people in a not so nice way. So if that's you, back it off some. If you're the one that's being dominated, um, you don't have to roll over on your belly and show your tummy. Uh, you may have to say, I need some space. Could you just step back just a little bit? Watch for loneliness. This is the bad side of number one with the planets. We may not feel it at all because we can be social with our family and our friends. And if we've taken the initiative to do that, we'll be fine. But the people that don't have that opportunity will experience loneliness. So if you know of somebody that might be living alone or um, it, it gets too quiet. I know with my uncle, he's 103, Uncle Wilbert. Um, I do know that he gets lonely. So we've tried all of us to take a day and, uh, and pop in, make a sandwich, cook a grilled cheese sandwich, uh, you know, just do things with him, not just for him, but with him. Uh, look at pictures, just kind of keep him involved. Uh, and, and he could get very lonely living alone, uh, not being able to see, so he can't watch TV, can't hear it properly, and can't read, was a big avid reader and he can't read, so uh, we're taking some time to read him some stuff, and he falls asleep, <laughs> but that's okay, I fall asleep on myself too, <laughs> so just see what you can do, look around for others, what can I do, how can I make somebody else's life good, I think that's why I have so many animals, it's ridiculous what I have, uh, I just like, I like looking at what other things need, and seeing if I can uh, support that if I can know what they need and and, su and supply that it just feels so good to do that just so good Alrighty, on that note I want to th thank so much Charlie O'Brien for all the work he has done in posting this up for us he's put us on Spotify Apple iTunes Amazon Music SoundCloud YouTube uh, then he gives me the link and I post that on Facebook. I want to thank you, Charlie, for also making that website, www.terryworld.com and archiving last four or five of the podcasts that maybe uh, out there you might have missed or want to take advantage of. So if you have technical needs, digital needs, he's the guy. He's the guy. If you need a website, he reasonable, well done, great at photography, super duper at marketing. Uh, he's the guy to see. So just uh, Google Charlie O'Brien or ask me and I will ask his permission to pass on his information. So again, thank you, Charlie, for doing everything that you do do. And if you out there need a reading or any of your animals um, need some help, 
My number to text or call is 519-726-6699 or you can email me at terri dot c-o-u-t-t-s at gmail dot com you have a great week everybody this is gonna be a good week make it so and make it so for other people bye for now thanks for listening to insights with terry coots visit terry's website at terryworld.com t-e-r-r-i world.com